what's going on YouTube welcome to today's video now I just keep changing the pace we went from trucks to tools and now we're going to heavy equipment if you saw the last video I talked a little bit about MDDP kind of where things are heading with it and how I'm pretty much taking on any bit of work I can get right now to help build the dream of putting a shop together and then going full time I mean I already am full time but being able to make this business and help as many people as I can in the process we are actually headed off to go work on a D5 N dozer and I'll give the specs of things when we get down there but it's gonna be a fun time, a little bit of maintenance. We were there yesterday, and the, the problem we found was the person who used it last didn't put the shut off. There's a little shut off for the uh, battery so that nothing's drawing current when it's just sitting there. And the batteries were completely dead. And we put this on at each battery for about 45 minutes because we were down there for about an hour and a half just doing small odds and ends. And uh, it just wouldn't, it like clicked when you turn the key. So it was absolutely nothing. Therefore, we took these things home, we charged them, a good bit we put a heavy charge on them over the course of a couple hours and then we went ahead and uh did a slow trickle charge overnight so hopefully these things will be all good to go um here's our oil filter fuel filter and then water separator filter then we got a bunch of tools here gloves impacts nice little to-go bag without further ado let's head down there and uh, check out the project at hand All right, so here she is. Like I was telling you guys, D5N. Uh, just a little bit about this thing. I do not know a ton about these. I'll be the first to admit, this is not my most knowledgeable thing. I know more about these trucks than I do these things. I'll put it to you that way. But the N is for the final drives being up here. I guess it puts the weight over the track better, makes it for uh, better on hills and for better traction. Right back here is where our batteries were. We'll put them back into here. Uh, we pulled the side panel off right there just to make it easier to get the things. As far as filters go, this is our fuel particulate filter. I'll check the oil there. And then on the back, we actually had to look for this. I wasn't, I never knew this would be back here. But on the left, if I can hold this at the same time, on the left is your hydraulic filter, on the right, water separator, which makes sense because the fuel tank's up there. And then this is to prime it up. And then on this side, this is our oil filter, which is the 1807 oil filter. So if you're running the MDDP CAT oil conversion kit, you got the same filter on your Duramax as you do a D5 dozer. So I think that's pretty cool. The oil capacity on this thing, I believe it's about 5 point, like 1, 5.2 gallons, something around there. So just a touch over five gallons. Oil drain is directly under the engine. They give you a nice little access panel underneath here. So it makes it a little easier to get to, but Oh yeah, we also took that panel off of right here. But we're going to get to work and then I'll catch back up with you guys when we got the batteries in here. Jordan's working on getting those in. Uh, and then we'll start it up, get the startup on video and get the oil warm so we can drain it. I've actually only ran this piece of equipment once, but if you've never run it at all, so you get up on it, step there, grab there, climb up the tracks, get inside here. All right, so here's your kind of control panel, if you want to call it that. To the right is all your blade control, so you pull up, the blade comes up there. You tilt to the right, the blade tilts to the right, to the left. And uh, straighten it up, set it down. This is your speed, so you click this forward to go forward, click this back to go uh, backwards. This will lock your track so you can turn left to right. And then your speed shows up there. Using this, I believe this is how you adjust the speed of the tracks. For throttle, you'd think that this would be it. This is actually a decelerator, so what you gotta do, you can hold that down and click up 
for the fast little rabbit there obviously and then when you let go of this it accelerates you let go of it and that's uh, wide open rpms right there when you're done pretty much as simple as it gets up here just right there's your uh, brake to lock the whole tracks up and shake everything so only really uh, to come to a dead stop or an emergency do you hit that usually you just kind of slow down to nothing but that's a, a brief brief tour of in here like i said i'm not an expert on these i just kind of know the basics of it We have our oil drain, there's one container and the other one's somewhere around here. They're both about half full, so we got about five gallons out. This is the fuel filter here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty dumb design on how you get this fuel filter out of here. Because what you have to do is take it off upside down. So this, the filter sits right here. So as soon as you unscrew the filter, this entire thing full of fuel just dumps out. And that's why we put this pig mat under here to catch as much as we could of it and not only that is all your dirt settles down in here so you can see around the ring there where that dirt is we've just been taking paper towels here and just wiping all that up dabbing all the fuel and we want to get that perfectly clean down in there so we don't have an issue with uh, leakage down the road Well guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this thing. We just got everything buttoned up, those panels on the bottom put back on. That as well, we got this side fixed. It was all sorts of jacked up and wouldn't go together, but she's all good to go now. Check the oil, ran it. Uh, check the final drives too. Just basically rotated this down, got where this is, flat level so you can check where your, your fill is. The fuel filter's done. Right back here, you can tell we need some hydraulic oil. I don't have any on me though. But other than that, pretty much finished up. So guys, this is a little different content for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. Thanks again, guys, as always, and we will see you on the next video.